So we're looking for uh, an innovative building system that we can use in the United States that can work in earthquake country as well as everywhere else, can be constructed quickly, can be sustainable, you know, all the things that we need to try to build more housing and more commercial for the U.S. Uh, we'd like to push the envelope for the use of light, high precision um, uh, steel, perform steel and materials like this. Right now, design code prohibits us from going above uh, six stories or 65 feet, whatever comes first. Um, so a design engineer cannot use this material to go above that story level in building construction. We've already built it, and now we've tested it under that design event, and it looks and it's uh, retained its structural integrity. So I think we've already can say it's a success. In earthquake prone regions, lightening up your structural system is going to be critical because Newton's law doesn't go away. Force is mass times acceleration. If you reduce the mass, then you've automatically reduced the forces. That's really what we want to do as structural designers. So we've been testing single fasteners and moving them back and forth and understanding how this level of damage means this kind of strength. And then now we do it on a full scale building. If we can correlate that all together, then we can enable engineers to model this thing at essentially any scale they like and know exactly that the performance will be true. So this, having a benchmark like this is just, it's, it's you know, game changer is kind of a silly word, but that's the way I feel about it.